Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Milky Plays Skies of Arcadia Legends. When we last left off, we were exploring the land of Ixataka and docked at a town, or a village, called uh, Horteca. And the people there seemed to be pretty interested in Fina's clothes. And they called her uh, Quieta? Quietya? And we had no idea what they were talking about. They also mentioned some other men from the east. They don't seem too favorable of said men. And they don't seem to be treating us very kindly either because of it. So we're going to get to the bottom of things, like the good Samaritans we are. Plus, there's a green moon crystal around here somewhere that we want to get our hands on. A high priest. Quietya and the people of the east. We once confused, but we will confuse the two no more. I wonder what this is. Looks like ground up berries and herbs. I wonder what they're used for. Vice is a very inquisitive young man, I think. Where to next? Item merchant's daughter. Doesn't seem very interested in talking to me. Weapons merchant. Says he has nothing to sell to a person from the east. Basically tells us to go get stuffed. Yeah. Well, let's see. Rope? Hey, monkey thing. Swinging around. Not a care in the world. Hey, bud, what's going on up here? Alright, yeah, cool. Talk to you later. Hey, you got a lot of pulleys and stuff. Or, I want to say savages, but well, we'll just say... Not so technologically inclined. Uh, do we have any moon berries for super moves yet? One for Vice. One for Ika. One for Fina. One for Drachma. Hmm. Vice summons down the power of lightning to rain down upon all enemies on the screen. I want it. Rain of Swords. Yes, please. Bye. Uh, I guess the other way we could go is down this ladder. Lots of platforms up and down, up and down. Covered in some animal skin. That's probably how they keep their food fresh. Looks like there's some salted meat inside. Oh, I was over here before. Don't need to be over here now. I guess it's a quick way to get back if I ever need to. And here we are at the other end of the village, I guess. Er, go away, scram, don't bother me. All right, I'm not really interested in bothering you anyway. That guy looks important. Elderly innkeeper. 
So you're from the east? You look tired. Would you like a room for the night? It'll be 160 gold. Well, hey. This woman seems nice enough. Or is that a guy? Beats the hell out of me. You seem refreshed. Come again anytime you need a rest. Well, thank you. Hey, bud. Nice eyebrows. So you are the ones from the east who people have been talking about. I'm pretty sure I've only been here for about 15 minutes. So, you are from the east. Your people bring disaster. Leave this village immediately. Wait a minute. Why does everyone keep talking about these men from the east and this Quietya stuff? We don't even know what a Quietya is. Quietya is our god. Generations ago, when the giant came to destroy us, Quietya appeared and saved our village. Ancient prophecies say that Quietya's messengers will come from the east and save us if our land is ever in danger. I understand. Since we came from the east, that's why everyone thinks Quietya sent us. But if Quietya's messengers are supposed to save you, why did you say that people from the east bring disaster? Even now, the men from the east are destroying our land. They claim to come from a place called Valua. Dun dun dun. Valua, they're here too. When the people from Valua came, everyone thought the Quietia sent them. Even the king came to greet them. The people from Valua said they wanted moonstones. We took them to our sacred mountain where we keep glow rocks. So the Valuans came to steal their moonstones. And then the people from Valua attacked us with fire breathing iron ships. They took control of Sacred Mountain. Everyone, even the king, fought. But many were killed and the forest was burned. The survivors were taken as slaves. That's terrible! They are using your people to gather moonstones so they can make weapons. So that's why everyone is so against the men from the east. Please, you need to trust us. We are different from the Valuants, the men from the east. We fight against Valuants so they can't hurt people. And that is why we've come all this way. We need a very precious stone called a moon crystal. You can't expect him to trust us. You're wasting your time, boy. Please, I'm telling the truth. Please. Wise old purple man. If you fly north from this village, you'll see a small hut in the middle of the forest. That is where our king is hiding. The kings of our land have always passed down the sacred green stone from generation to generation. This may be the stone that you seek. Your eyes, they are pure. I believe that you are here to help us. Please, save our people. Uh -huh. Thank you. I will not betray you. Let's go. We've got a village to save. Hmm. Even Dragma's like, not bad. <laughs> all right, all right, where else can we go? We'll go see this king fella before the episode's out, that's for sure. This song is for Quietya. When the Valuans came, I played this song in the Welcome Festival. Now I play to ask Quietya to come and drive off the Valuans. 
The Elder said you defeated Valuar. Is it true? I've always believed in Quietya. I will someday believe Quietya will come and destroy Valuar for us. Maybe you were sent here by Quietya. Do you think so? Apparently, the Elder said that we defeated Valuar? Wow! People sure get around fast around here. I heard Moonfish sound though, so I need to find that. Oh, I see it down there too. I'm just pushing the wrong button. Whoop! Bank one for Maria. Hey, bud. Don't you look neat. You are not a bad man. The Elder said so. I am Tika Tika. I was the first to see you coming. My eyes are sharper than the birds. I am proud of my eyes. If I concentrate, I can see anything, no matter how far. Shall I show you? Sure. All right, here goes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Aha! A golden man to the north. I see a golden man. In the northern sky, there is a golden man. It is the truth. Go and see for yourself. Golden man to the north. And I got a Paranta Seed. Which is, I guess, one of those stat boosting seeds. Anyway, I think we're done here. We can just leave. Well, nearly. I think we're just got to do one more thing. I just have to find my way around. Because we found out about the moon crystal and the value ends and yada yada yada. But there's still that issue of the moon crystals that we need to sort out. We won't be able to leave without them. Even though mechanically speaking I could have just gone anywhere I wanted to without any care in the world, but as soon as I landed here I think it stuck me here for story purposes. I think if I go this way, I should be able to find my way. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Whoa, Cupo. Cupo, where is it, Cupo? Cupo, buddy. A champ, excellent. Fina, use that champ. He became the Cupicone. Increases power by three. Hell, yeah, Fina, use it. Who are you? Who are you? Whoa, don't you look like, like, a little happy mask salesman waiting to happen. Who are you? My father's not here. Oh, okay. It's a box of tools and various ship parts. Must be great to be able to keep everything this organized. There's some drinking water and preserved foods. This must be the, from the ship's supply storage. Because we have a ship here. Hello? To judge from your appearance, I gather you came from over Ocean Way. Hey, these people seem to know what they're talking about. Hey, bud. Hello, you don't seem to be from this town. Who are you? We're not. Actually, we had to cross South Ocean to get here. My name's Vice. Wow, you were able to cross South Ocean? That's impressive. My name is Hans. Good to meet you. We're blue rogues under the command of Captain Sentine. We had to crash land here after a hurricane knocked us off course. 
Sentai. He's the blue rogue that takes in orphans and trains them. I also heard that he's a brilliant engineer. Yeah, he was. I mean, he is. The Valuants kidnapped him and are forcing him to build weapons for them. We're staying here and working on the ship until he returns. Oh, I hope he returns soon. Hey, Hans, I was wondering if you could help out some fellow blue rogues. We burned all of our fuel crossing South Ocean. Do you think you could spare a few moonstones? Of course, we've got plenty to spare. Here, take these. Hans is all right. Thanks, we owe you one. You really helped us all out a lot. You're welcome. Well, I need to get back to work. Good luck. Got our moonstone fuel. A junker. Heh, <laughs> parts of all kinds of different ship have been used in rebuilding this thing. It must take a lot of skill to build something with such a random selection of parts. Well, I shouldn't be too critical of their ship. These guys are nice people. And we just got 25 Sacri Crystals. Thank God. We're just going to borrow those too, if you don't mind. Sentime's wife. Ah, I see. My husband was too concerned about the children to put up any resistance to the Valuants, and he was taken away to work in the mines. He smiled and told me not to worry, but I can't help it. I'm worried to death. Most of the people in this village seem to be afraid of us or something, and they always stay away from us. But this girl's our friend, she's teaching us how to dance. We were orphans, but then Daddy Sentime adopted us. Our real mommy and daddy are dead. But we have Daddy Sentime and Brother Hans, so we're not lonely anymore. Daddy, I sure wish you'd come home soon. Everyone says that I shouldn't play with the Easterners, that I mustn't play with Sentime's kids. But they're all nice. <laughs> they're all very nice. I don't know why everyone doesn't want me to play with them. Please, Sentime, come home soon. Well, I feel nothing but obligated to help these kids out. And the village. This is just what Vice does. Plus, if it ticks off the Valuants, and it would, all the better. Uh, yes, this would be the weapon and item shop. I think I should be able to buy stuff from here now. Is there something you'd like to buy? The Valuants, they were looking for the sacred green stone. They said it shines even brighter than a moonstone. I've never seen a stone like that, but they took away everything in the shop anyway. Damn you, Valuants. Now you're just being mean. Okay, flame mantle we don't need. This is a gem of fluidity. We have two of those. We don't need two of those. No, we probably don't even need any of those things. Can I sell those fish? Yes, I can. For one buck a piece. May as well. They really don't do anything for me. Alright, some sac race crystals, some sac room crystals, which heals a thousand for everybody. Magic droplet. Do need a couple of those. Rison crystals, Curia crystals. Has a 50% chance of recovering, of re reviving one ally. 50% chance, and I used it how many times in that one fight? And I still got nothing? Yeah, we'll get a bunch of Sacrius crystals. That'll do just fine. Bye. The Elder says I must help you. Even though I don't like it, I will sell to you. 
What's up, bud? For a long time, we did not fight wars. Weapons were only for hunting or as defense for wild animals. But ever since the Valuans arrived, I have started making weapons to use against people. That's sad. Well, let's see, we got a hunter's sword. Get that on vice. A hunting arc. Get that on Ica. Alright. Golden armor. For vice and drachma. Couple of fiver robes. Ooh, not nine. I don't have that many people in my party. We get a feather. Doesn't really do anything, so we'll just forget about that. Alright, we're good. Bye. Still got time to spare. Sometimes life is good. You look for the sacred green stone, just like the Valuants. The Valuants demanded that I tell them where the sacred green stone was. They beat me over and over. I thought I was going to die. Those bastards. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The value is starting to piss me off again. Now they said to the north, there's a golden man. I think he's around here somewhere. I can't quite remember where, but I know he's around here somewhere. Well, there's our hut. Hey, what's that smell? It smells like something is burning. Look on the horizon. The forest! Those bastards are burning the forest. Volume and flagship of the 5th Admiral DeLoco, the Chameleon. God, that's day. All right, I don't think a tree gets burned through that quickly. However, meh. Burn, burn, burn! Witness the awesome power of my flame cannon. The thicker the forest, the more it burns. <laughs> After I burn down the forest, I will be able to find the lost city of Rixus and the moon crystal will be mine. Lord DeLoco, there's a ship approaching from the aft. It matches the description of those air pirates. Vice is here? He's the kid that escaped from the Grand Fortress and defeated Beleza. Perfect! Perfect! He's just in time to feel the heat from my flame cannon. <laughs> I wonder how Vice likes his food. Medium? Or perhaps well done. I hope he doesn't die too fast. <laughs> Delogo's too fun. <laughs> the forest! This is horrible! What kind of twisted psycho would do this? Wherever it is, he'll have to deal with me. If we get hit by that blast of fire, we're done for. 
I'll have to dodge the flames and counterattack. Looks like we're gonna have to kick DeLoco's ass a little bit. <laughs> Fear the power of the invincible chameleon. Let's just get some energy. We need to make sure we're going fast. This ship's pretty big. We might be able to outmaneuver it. Of course, we're not going to have enough time in this episode to finish this battle, but we'll get through it. Together. Boring first round. I well, only we missed with one thing. I think it was the torpedo that hit us. Or was it the sub cannon? I don't know. fire a little torpedo of our own. A three inch blaster. How about a nice standard can? And some guard. We'll show him what we're made of. <laughs> I miss. That's a little embarrassing. He's doing the same thing I am. Loading a bunch of attacks into one turn. And focusing, but we're behind him. Bam! 3100 damage. And some evasive action. Huh, Trekman actually went before somebody. That's amazing. Not bad, De Loco. <laughs> it's time for the main event. You better watch out, Vice. You get too close and you'll get burnt. It's true. If we get too close, we'll get burnt. <laughs> uh, need to heal. But, this uh, episode's just about over, so I'm gonna come back real quick and we're gonna finish this battle with DeLoco. I hope to see you then.